Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so I didn't actually plan on vlogging this, but I thought it would be cool if I took you guys luxury shopping with me. I actually plan on doing some serious shopping today. Your girl just hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and I deserve a treat. I also just got finished filming the um, seven top seven fall trends video and I'm already dressed so I'm like why not take you guys with me and also you don't get to see my natural hair often especially in the summertime because I wear it in braids because the humidity in South Florida here in Miami Beach is set to hill and as soon as I step outside this is gonna shrink and it's fine because tomorrow I'm getting my hair braided again this is how I retain my lift this is how I avoid manipulation of my natural hair, especially in the summertime. And this is how I get my hair to grow, which has grown quite a bit. But yeah, last night I uh, washed my hair and I straightened it. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this. So let me go ahead and show you guys what products I use for my hair. And then I'm going to show you my outfit. And then we're just going to head on shopping. We're going to Ball Harbor. I'm hungry, so we're definitely going to Makoto. Uh, so yeah, let me show you the products, my outfit, and then we're out. Okay, here we are. So when taking my braids down, I saturate the roots. Like once the braid is out and there's like a little gunk and dirt and buildup all the way at where the braid starts. Um, before I try and comb that out, I saturate it with Shea Moisture 100% Extra Virgin Coconut Oil because it just makes breaking up all of that dirt really easy, especially if you've had your braids in for a while. So I saturate the root with that and then I kind of pull um, the braid apart. And then I start at the end of my hair and I comb it out until I get up to the root. Don't start at the root and try to comb it because you're going to break your hair off. Like literally, it's a two-day process for me to take my braids out because I love my hair and I want to retain it. And I, I don't... I take my time when taking everything out because I don't want to break my hair. And so this really, really works. And this is good for hair. This is good for body. Um, but I always use this product when taking down my braids because it just makes it so much simpler. And I'll link this down below. Next up, I wash my hair with the Nazoro Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Now, after my hair has been in braids for about a month and a half, two months, I'm, I, I still wash my hair, but it, it really only gets clean in the parts. It never really gets clean under the braid. And so there's lots of buildup there. And so I use this anti-dandruff shampoo to really cleanse my scalp. And this stuff works so well. I'm not, I don't normally have dandruff, but after having my hair braided so long under the braid, girl, it's a mess under there. Okay, and so I do use this. I shampoo twice. I lather it up. I get my scalp squeaky clean. Um, and then I move on to um, my shampoo. My favorite right now is Abita, uh, the Botanical Repair Strengthening Shampoo. This is all natural, plant-based shampoo. And I just love this. This My hair loves plant-based products, like things without a lot of chemicals. My natural hair loves it. So I'll be sure to link this down below. After shampooing, I go ahead and put in the Botanical Repair Intensive Strengthening Mask in the Rich one. Um, I put this on my scalp, I saturate my hair, and then I put a plastic bag on my head and I leave it on for like 20 minutes. Um, this stuff is amazing, especially when your hair has been in a protective style for a long time or been in braids and you've been wearing wigs and you just need to rejuvenate your hair this will do it okay so good this is also from avita and then finally i go in with my favorite conditioner sometimes i will use the avita conditioner but i was out but i have i had bought this and been meaning to use it this is the rucker roots detangling conditioner um for all hair types it has turnip carrot and ginger root oils this is so good my natural hair loves this conditioner. I have to go get the shampoo as well to check it out. This is a black owned business. You guys know I love Rucker Roots. I usually use their spray in heat protectant, which is also all natural plant based. Um, and then after that, I use my tool to blow dry and kind of straighten my hair. 
I'll show you guys that. This is what I use, the Knot Doctor. It's a blow dryer and hair straightener. Um, this is really, really great. But before I do that, I saturate my hair with Ruckaroot's Daily Leave-In Conditioner. I go in sections. So whichever section I'm gonna do with the straightener, I take a piece of hair, I pump this into my hand, I slather that on, <laughs> and then I go in with the heat protectant, which is Brie Ogio Farewell Frizz. This is black on as well. Uh, it's a blow dry perfection heat protecting cream, no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. And then I put a little bit of that on the strand and then I go through with the blow dryer. So that took me about 40 minutes to do my entire head. And after everything was dry and my hair was about this big, I go through a two strand twist with a little bit of Camille Rose Naturals, black owned business mix on the, so I use a little bit of this through, not enough to get your hair totally wet, just barely damp um, because you don't want your hair to revert. And then on the ends, when I'm two strand twisting, I use pattern gel because this has a better hold. So that's quickly how I get this style. I've done it before if you want like more in depth, but all of those products are linked down below. Okay, so before we head out, let's refresh my makeup. I'm using the Fenty Beauty MVP Icon Lip. It is so beautiful. It's like the perfect red. I love this. I'll link it down below. Really great for fall. I'm gonna just, I'm a little shiny from filming, but I do want to add a little bit more blush. You guys know I'm loving the Dior Rosy Glow in the color Cherry. It's so pretty, kind of orangey red. And it just works really well with my skin tone. So let's get a little bit of that. Oh, it's so good. I'll link this down below. And you guys know I'm a Dior ambassador, so you can use my code MUMRO23 for a free gift with purchase over $125. When you set up a Dior account, it's very easy to do. You just put in your email. And I think I have the free gift with purchase. It's like a little beauty container. Yeah. So let me show you the look and we're out. Okay guys, so the main reason I wanted to vlog is because when I put on my outfit, I thought it was too cute not to vlog it. So I'm wearing this top from Local European. It's just like a black tank top. It's a ribbed tank with a lot of stretch. I also have it in white. And it just feels really good and like smooth on the skin. The quality is amazing. It does have really good stretch. Um, and I paired it with my Ray Giant front pleat trouser pants. Every time I wear these, I get so many compliments. I also have them in white and you can get them at My Teresa. I got my normal size, which is a US size 10, UK, no, US size six, UK size 10. I'm wearing my Bottega Jody in the largest size. There's a great like um, inspired by bag that's very similar to this at Anthropology. They have it in black as well as white and cream. So I'll link this one as well as the Anthropology one, which is a lot more affordable down below. And then I have on my Fendi slides. Very comfortable, one of my best purchases of 2023. I wear these things everywhere. I'm gonna pop on my local European just tiny little gold huggy earrings because the look is very basic since my hair is very big and my lip is very bold. And then I wanna bring out the, the gold in my uh, sandals. Love that. Um, sunglasses are new in from Versace. I've been wanting some like square, long rectangular sunglasses. And I found these that the price on them was so good. I got them at My Teresa. And they have the cool little Versace on the side. They're just giving very cool, just very effortless. And look how good this looks with my outfit. Girl, I did that. Okay, it's a look. It's a very, I'm about to go spend some racks look. 
all right i'll be sure to link the sunglasses down below in fact i'll link the entire look um for today's fragrance we are gonna go with jennifer lopez promise i've been wearing this like every day ever since i got it in a gift bag or in a gift um pr box i love it it smells so good and fresh all right we're gonna pop my christian dior little um la bomb lotion in my bag is there anything else i need from up here just my phone I'm gonna take a spare battery. I'm gonna pop you all in here and we're off. Let's go shopping.
morning everyone can you see me it's been a while since i've had my hair up in a little puff uh made myself a coffee this morning this is the dolce double espresso from nespresso it's my favorite i always put it with a little bit of oat milk um and just a splash of agave um all natural sweetener so good um Okay guys, so you saw yesterday we went to Bow Harbor Shops. We went into all the stores. Um, I got footage of everything. So I'm trying to get better about actually filming in stores. I just feel nervous because you never really know, especially with the luxury stores, like sometimes they'd be like, look, you're not supposed to do that. And the last thing I want is to get kicked out of a store or just embarrassed. So, but yeah, they didn't really care at all. In fact, everyone just kept saying how much they love my outfit <laughs> and how chic it was. So that made me feel good. Um, I really thought I was gonna go there and ball out, but I didn't. There was not much that I saw like as far as clothing, but I did buy some home items from Saint Laurent and also from Tiffany. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing with you guys. Um, we'll get into that and I think I'm going to quickly do a face mask. I haven't done one in so long and I feel like my skin needs it. Even though my skin is looking pretty good. I feel like my skin needs a mask and um, I'm getting my hair rebraided today. In fact, I have about one hour before my hairstylist shows up. Her name is Brittany um, and you can check her out at Slade dot studios i'll put that on the screen here on instagram um and my hair is already stretched but i might stretch it a little bit more just so it doesn't like tangle or anything when she's braiding it it works best when my hair is um stretched as far as it can be stretched before i get my hair braided my scalp is super clean from washing it the other day and yeah I just have to get my hair rebraided because y'all see how cute it was yesterday. This is literally how it looked today. Like I had to put it up because it just, the definition doesn't stay in the Florida humidity. And I'm okay with that. So we're getting our hair rebraided today in a like medium, knotless uh, goddess braids. Um, with the little tendrils with the natural human hair and I will actually show you guys the process today <laughs> because the last time I didn't show you you guys had a lot of questions so I want to show you let's get into what I got from Saint Laurent actually Saint Laurent is one of my like favorite designer brands at the moment I do love their clothing but it's I don't want to say it's out of budget for what it is for me but that's kind of what it is but their shoes are so well priced like i can't even deny myself um some of their shoes are not well priced but for the most part their shoes are um some of the best as far as pricing when it comes to designers but anywho i saw this online a few weeks ago and i ordered one um but it was a pre-order and it hasn't come yet and i just happened to see it when i walked into the store and so I thought I would go ahead and get it for myself. That way I will have two when the other one arrives. So let me show you what I got. All right, so it comes in the standard little Saint Laurent box. I wonder if you guys can figure out what it is. <laughs> this is probably the most, well, it's not useless because I do drink a lot of like coffees and such, but I'm a true Saint Laurent like girly. And when I saw this, I needed it. And I almost took it out and used it this morning <laughs> to show you guys my coffee. So I just ended up getting this little black um, glass tumbler. It's like a little coffee tumbler from Saint Laurent. And it's just super cute. Comes with this little uh, plastic top that just says caution, contents hot. Yeah, and literally it's just like a branded <laughs> coffee tumbler. But you guys know I love like little things like this. I actually have one from Cafe Kitsune that I got from Essence. Let me show you that one. So here is the little coffee tumbler that I got from Essence from Cafe Kitsune. This is like hard. 
and it's so easy to clean i have had this for quite maybe like a few months and i love it i actually take this with me when i travel um so that i'm never without a coffee cup and it's great uh, I'm really sad. I think they sold out of these at Essence before I had a chance to order another one, but maybe they'll restock. So I'll link it down below. But yes, now I have my little glass Saint Laurent one. So that's what I got. Nothing too special, but super cute little kitschy item. Oh, who's texting me? So this is this also makes a really great gift if you have someone in your life that is a luxury lover. Um, and you want to give them something that they will actually use that's relatively affordable, this would be a really great gift. Uh, okay, so let me show you what I got from Tiffany. All right, so you guys know I'm a Tiffany lover. I have the Tiffany tea bangle here, as well as the Tiffany tea ring. When I went in, they actually cleaned my bracelet for me. Like he said, oh, let me clean that for you. He took it in the back and it came out so beautiful and sparkly. You guys remember I bought this in Paris. But I wanted a little something to commemorate making 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I got myself a little something something. And I've been wanting these as well. Again, this is homeware. Is it gonna open? <gasps> Yay! So I'm sure you guys have seen these before. These are the Tiffany uh, porcelain coffee tumblers and oh they're so cute i was actually looking for the bigger size which they did have um the same size as the saint laurent tumbler um but when he brought these out i was like you know what this is better for me um i'll probably use this more but the thing is you can get any kind of like rubber top for these like i could probably pop this rubber top off of here and use it on these cups um, and those are just easy. You can probably find the rubber tops at Amazon if you're interested. But yeah, I'm very happy to have these. I wanted some Tiffany um, champagne glasses because I got some from the team at Zara for the holidays. And one of them broke. I'm so sad I only have one. But yeah, very, very happy to have these. These are a great gift. I believe they're under $150. Um so these make great gifts you know the holidays will be here before you know it so i kind of start stocking up on little things in advance but yeah little things like this um relatively inexpensive for designer things and people love stuff like this for gifts you know they actually use these things so um if i can find these anywhere online i'll link them down below of course you can get them at the tiffany store and they have special edition ones at the new flagship Tiffany store in New York City, which I will be visiting in a few days. So I'll take you guys with me when I go there as well. And yeah, just for size, that little plastic top does fit on this cup as well. I'll probably order some white ones from Amazon just to keep with the theme. So I'm gonna go upstairs. I wanna do this Youth to the People um, niacinamide face mask. And I'm really excited to do that mask. So we're gonna do that and today is also sunday so i have a youtube video going up today and so i need to download it onto my external hard drive and then upload it to youtube the earlier i do that on a sunday the better because it a lot of people upload on sunday so when you try and upload a video like after 10 a.m it takes forever because everyone's trying to upload on sunday so I'm gonna go ahead and get that situated as well. Um, work on the description box and get that up, hopefully before, I wanna say 11 a.m. Oh, my coffee is so good. All right, let's do a little work. All right guys, so here's the mask I'm doing today. It's the Super Clay Purify and Clear Power Mask with niacinamide from, and kombucha um, from Youth to the People, which is vegan. I've been loving their moisturizer. Let me show you the moisturizer because I use it a lot. As you can see, it's almost gone. This is the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream with kale, spinach, and hyaluronic acid. Look, if you want your skin to be plump and look youthful forever, use some type of hyaluronic acid product every day 
Um, I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. Uh, but yeah, niacinamide is also good too for like fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, like pretty much everything, skin turnover. So we're gonna try this mask. So I'm just using one of my Christian Dior cotton wipes to cleanse my face with just water because when you do these masks you want clean skin but I still have on all of my skincare from last night so we're just getting that off and these cotton wipes are so like luxurious I didn't even know Dior had cotton wipes but they're amazing I'll link them down below okay Let's do the mask. I've never used this before. Ooh, look how it looks, you guys. So here's what it looks like. It actually looks like clay, which I'm kind of into. So far, so good. There's no smell at all, which is great because when things like this have a smell, it tends to make my eyes water. What's the direction? So we're going to leave this on for 10 minutes and then rinse. All right, <laughs> so here's what we're working with. It feels a little bit cooling and it's going to start getting hard soon, so it'll be harder for me to talk. Um, but I did wanna show you what I've been using on my lips um, this morning. I used the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment and I've been loving this. The caramel one is my favorite. It's a car salted caramel and it's actually really good. I'm always a little skeptical of these like, <laughs> you know, like actors and famous people skincare lines, but so far I am loving this stuff. And when I'm done with it, I'm gonna get a new one for sure. So I have about 30 minutes before my hairstylist gets here. I'm going to get this video uploaded. Um, yeah, let's do some work and finish my coffee. All right, guys, so <laughs> I look crazy. I have all of my tools here. I have my external hard drive. If you are a YouTuber, you know you cannot leave those huge video files on your laptop. It will destroy your laptop. Um, so I put everything on this external hard drive and I've had this thing for years. There has to be like 100 videos on here and there is still space. I think it's a two terabyte, I believe. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and upload my video to my external hard drive and then I'm gonna upload that to YouTube. I'll show you guys how long it's gonna take for me to do that. And then while that's uploading, I'm gonna create a thumbnail, which I haven't been on my thumbnail game lately. Like I've really just been doing any old thing. <laughs> And I need to get better because I know that thumbnails are the thing that really drives people to actually watch the video. So I need to do better about taking pictures in the moment when I'm doing things. So I actually have something for the thumbnail, which is usually just what I forget to do. All right, so we'll get to that. All right, guys, mask is nice and dry. I'm about to wash it off. Um, I just pulled up my video on YouTube. It's saying it's gonna take me 49 minutes for it to upload, which is great because right now it's 10 o'clock. Um, oh no, it just popped up to 51 minutes. <laughs> Anywho, that's fine. I already did my, uh, what is it? What is it called? My thumbnail, I did it in Canva. And so that's done. My uh, description box is done. My assistant, uh, sent that over for me and I'm just gonna proofread that and we are ready to upload. I'm gonna go wash this off. It's nice and tight, my face feels super tight. My stylist is on the way, so I'll check back in with you guys when she's here and we're like getting started with my hair so she can tell you all of the details about the braids. So I've already shown you all what I use to get my um, hair kind of straight, like my little blow dry straightener. But now I'm about to just get this more straight or more stretched um, with this. I think I showed this to you guys previously, but it's the Moroccan Oil um, Brush Flat Iron. Let me show it to you. 
So this is the brush. It's pretty cool, the technology it uses. Um, and you can get this from Amazon. In fact, they had a sale on it during Amazon Prime. But it's very similar to my blow dry brush. And in fact, you only have to just do a few passes. And you can also set the heat on this. So you can kind of control. Hello. There we go. So it starts off at 370. I don't need it to be too hot because my hair is already kind of straight. So I'm going to maybe do hmm, 390 and do maybe one or two passes on smaller strips of hair. We're gonna set that there so it's locked. We're gonna let that warm up. And then we are gonna go through and just section my hair off in like little sections like this and just straighten it with maybe one or two passes just to get it a little more stretched and easy to braid. So I, I'm very tender headed. So I don't like when people are like combing, combing, combing my hair to get it like straight enough to put into the braid. So I just go ahead and I do all that work because like I said, y'all, I really love my hair <laughs> and I want to preserve it. And um, even though my hairstylist is very, very, she's great. I just want to make sure there are no tangles because I don't want any pulling of my hair. I want it to be you know manageable so we're gonna go ahead and use this again I'll link this down below I'll show you just how straight it can get and we'll be ready for braids <music> We started at about, I want to say like 11.30, maybe. Um, and we just finished at about 3 o'clock and it looks great. I love it. This time I went with a little bit longer curly tendrils. Last time I did shorter ones. But yeah, I love it. The parts are parting. It looks really good. Um, and now I don't really worry. I have to worry about during my doing my hair during New York and Paris fashion weeks. Um, I'm probably going to keep this in until probably like October 5th. Um, today is August 20th. So that's about a month and two weeks. So a month and a half. And that works out perfectly for me that I won't have to do my hair until after I'm done with fashion month. Um, yeah, so I will put her information down in the description bar. You can follow her at Slade.studios on Instagram. You can also make appointments on her Instagram. There's a little uh, sign up form there. And she's amazing. She does make house calls and she also has her own um, brick and mortar shop where you can get your hair done. And she doesn't only do braids, she does literally everything. Um, sew-ins, weaves, braids, like she does it everything. So definitely check her out. She's super sweet. Um, her prices are very reasonable um, and her work is impeccable. So I'm thrilled with my hair. I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day. I just got a YouTube video up. I want to create a reel to post today and then I'm just gonna chill until tomorrow. Um, I need to pack. We're heading to New York. So yeah, today is a little short day, but we fly to New York soon and I think I'm going to include that in this vlog and make this a weekly vlog. So stay tuned.
everyone and welcome to day three of the vlog you would have seen me do a 7 30 a.m zoom workout this morning with my girl life with glory b um if you want to join our classes just dm her on instagram she also has a youtube channel here she keeps me fit uh i made myself a little espresso and i finally got to use my tiffany and co little uh tumbler i love it Mm. I'm in my Skims house dress. I got myself together because today is a super busy day. I have to hit the ground running. Um, I have a meeting with my assistant in about five minutes. Um, that shouldn't take too long, but right directly after that, I have an in-home visit from The Real Real. Um, the Real Real is one of my <laughs> favorite places to shop, mainly for like designer shoes. I always have really good luck with designer shoes on there and also past season uh, designer clothing um, that's like super old or vintage or really hard to find. And so I'm partnering with them to showcase the different methods that people can consign items. I, I've consigned with them before, but it was years ago when they first came out. And so I'm just kind of testing it out. I have a few gently used designer items that I'm willing to part with because I'm not using them. And so they're gonna come and do an in-home visit. Sometimes they can come into your home, they can take pictures of the item, take the things and do all of that for you. Sometimes you, they'll send you a shipping label and you can mail the things off yourself. There's so many different ways that kind of came out of being in lockdown um, that they managed to keep their business thriving. Uh, so now there's so many ways to consign. So we'll be doing that today. And then right after that, I have a meeting, a Zoom meeting with a brand that I'm working with um, more geared towards lifestyle and travel, which is really exciting. Um, and then I need to film some, like a reel and some stories for Walmart. Um, basically promoting their fitness gear, which I actually use for my bike rides. So it works out perfectly so today's super busy and then somehow I need to go get my nails done and then I need to pack because my flight to New York is tomorrow at 7 a.m. and I am thrilled because I'm gonna be in a Delta lounge I'm a Delta girly hmm. my braids came out so good I asked her to make the little like curly bits a little bit longer and I think she used a whole bundle on my head y'all there's a whole bundle in there but it looks good. Mm. In case you're wondering about the gloss, I am wearing the CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. It's one of my favorites in the color Lavender. It looks so natural and beautiful on. Um, and it's like $7 at CVS or Target. So, and it looks really good if you wear it over like a nudie type of lipstick as well. All right, you guys, let's get set up. I'll let you listen in a little bit on my meeting with my assistant. Um, today is a busy day. Let's get started. All right, what's going on? Let's see, let's see. Thank you. And thank you, for, thank you for helping to get us to 100K on YouTube. Let's do that, like the Casa Luna stuff from Target. Kind of whatever else you want to throw in there. Things that I have, maybe like the candle wick cutters. I'm getting them from CB2 but uh, or Amazon. Like maybe a little wall art from Target and candles and throws. Just little cozy like fall stuff. All right guys, I just finished my meeting with my assistant. It normally lasts about 30 minutes. Um, we knocked out everything we needed to discuss. Um, the only thing that's kind of up in the air right now is our fashion month schedule and like new york is already kind of planned but like milan and paris come a lot later so reaching out and getting a good schedule for those fashion weeks is a little up in the air right now so we'll see um so now that i have a little bit of free time i'm going to go ahead and film my stories for the real real and then I'm gonna film my like get ready with me to go biking for Walmart reel. And then I will prepare for my in-home visit. They're actually sending someone um, to come and like look at my items, take photos and do all of the things. So 
let's get started we have a very long day i think i'm gonna wash clothes while i do this that way i have like some clean things to take with me to new york i'm only taking a carry-on because i clearly have clothes in new york i'm just not sure how much summer stuff i have and what the weather is like in new york so we'll do that this evening i'm gonna get myself dressed and we'll start filming I've been looking for ways to give my gently used designer items a new life and make room for closet staples this fall. So I went through my things and decided to consign some items on the Real Real. Selling is easy with so many different options to consign. It's smart, simple, and sustainable. There are four easy ways to consign with the Real Real. You can schedule a pickup, do a store drop off at one of their 13 locations, ship the items to them with a free shipping label, and finally the option I chose, which is a free at home appointment with the luxury manager. My luxury manager, Summer, came and talked me through the process of consigning with the Real Real. She assessed my items, took photos, and sent me a receipt on the spot. It takes two to three weeks for items to be processed, and the Real Real does all the work, including steaming, cleaning, and listing the products. And by consigning with the Real Real, I'm supporting circular economy while getting the best deal. Click the link for details on how you can consign with the Real Real. All right, guys, so I just had my meeting or like my in-home concierge with the real real um, and they send out a person to come and collect your items for you they take pictures of them they go through your account let you know what's happening um, and then they literally pick up the items and then they take them for you and you get a little receipt at the end with the photos of the things that you are consigning and it takes about two to three weeks before the, sorry, I ran up the steps. Ugh, I'm out of breath. It takes about two to three weeks before the items actually get onto the website for it to be sold. Um, and there's different tiers of how much of a commission that uh, the real world takes and how much you get paid. It's really, really good. And it's very convenient. And so that is what I'm promoting. I did a little bit of stories kind of showing the items that I consigned. I did a pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses, a Bottega clutch dumpling bag, a pair of off-white cargo jeans, and a pair of off-white um, shoes. Um, yeah, just things that I don't really wear that I want to get a second life, but that are uh, in really, really good condi condition. So those should be up on the real real soon for me as a seller. So I'm consigning. Um, I'll put all of the details down below. There's different ways that you can consign. They can come to you. They can come pick up the items. They can mail you a slip to mail it to them. They do everything. They clean the products. They steam the products. They um, really get the products in good condition like they do all of that. You literally have to do nothing, which is what I appreciate because I'm super, super busy. So yeah, now it's time for another meeting. I have a meeting with like a travel company for lifestyle content. I'm going to create a reel for them. I'm a little late, so I'm going to hop on my computer and join that meeting now. Just go through the collaboration, the deliverables, um, just because I always feel like having these 10 15 minute chats it's just easier to hash things out right yes that would be great if you could send me a few examples that would be awesome yeah for sure for sure all right guys so just finished up my meeting i'm a little bit more clear on the content that they want for this um which will be shared across instagram and TikTok. i'm a little anxious because my internet has been going in and out and it really affected this call just now and that's I like to be as professional as possible. I know I can't control the internet, but it's bothering me. So now I'm gonna go reset my modem. And now I'm done for the day. It is 11.15. <laughs> I have had a meeting with my assistant, um, an in-home concierge service with the Real Real, and another meeting for a brand campaign that I have to do. Um, I'm going to chill for a second and then I'm going to go ahead and film my Walmart reel. Let me show you the pieces that I will be wearing from Walmart. Usually when I work with them, I do like fashion pieces like dresses and such. And they do have some cute things. Um, but for this one, I wanted to tap into lifestyle. And you guys know I'm a biker. Your girl bikes. Usually I try to get in about 50 miles a week. 
but I haven't been able to get out lately because it's been raining like it's the rainy season in Miami right now not only has it been raining every single day so it makes it hard to get out um it's extremely hot and so when I do ride I have to ride before like 10 a.m um and it's always raining <laughs> during that time so it's I haven't been able to get out for a little while but for my content I'm centering it around like working out and biking and so for this campaign I thought I would do like active wear and they have a really cool active wear line at Walmart called um, Avia and I have a few of their pieces so I have this little black um, sports bra I actually have quite a few of these I actually really do wear these products <laughs> but I ordered some new ones to show for this reel that I'm gonna do how cute is this I love a like monochrome black and white set and these came as a pack together for like ten dollars girl that's such a good price um, and let me show you the bottoms that I got to match it okay so here are the bottoms and I'm most excited about these right here so you can see so first up we have these little shorts these are also from the same brand avia and you can kind of see the material this is like the stretchy like it soaks up sweat material and it has a banded waist but what i love about these is that they have a zipper pocket. And I always need a pocket when I'm riding my bike. So I can put throw my wallet, my keys, my ID um, in the pocket, which is great. But also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're shorts within shorts. So the top part is almost like, not sweatshirt material, but it is a bit stretchy. But underneath are biker shorts. I love that. This is so cute. I love that look. And I think these would just be so fun to like bike in. And of course, I can pair the shorts either with this sports bra. I would even just wear this as an outfit, like with these jeans or the all black. Now, because I'm extra, I also got the shorts in white. And you can see underneath they have the little biker short attached. I just love that look. This is the back of the shorts. They have a little um, round seam. And of course these also have, do, does this have a pocket? Oh yeah, it has a pocket here. A little zipper pocket for putting your things in. And I just think these are so cute. They also have like a skirt version um where it's not shorts it's just one skirt piece in the front but they still have the little shorts underneath and i tried to get those um but they sold out but i keep checking back i think they're going to restock so i'll make sure to link both pairs of shorts if you're looking for super cute little shorts to walk in to run in to bike in i just love how they look with that extra little biker short underneath and of course, the set of sports bras, you can buy them individually or you can buy them in a two pack the way I did where you get both of those. So I'm gonna make a little reel. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the sneakers. Okay, so these are the sneakers. These are Avia, the same brand. And these were very, very affordable. I don't, when I bike, my feet sweat. <laughs> and I like to be comfortable when I'm biking I don't buy like super expensive shoes to work out in or to bike in because they're just gonna get sweaty and gross um, and I want to be comfortable so these were very affordable I believe these were under like 20 bucks maybe 30 bucks and these are perfect for my bike rides because they have a good grip at the bottom so I can grip my pedal they're breathable they have these little you can see the little holes there so that your feet are breathing and they're very comfortable but even more so they are super light very very lightweight sneaker like it feels like air like nothing um yeah but you still get good support as you can see they're not just bending this arch support is really good so these are great for running for walking for errands and they look cute 
Of course, they're black with white bottoms. You get black and white shoestrings to kind of match the outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself together and create this reel. I'll pop it up so you guys can see it. And I will also link these products from Walmart down below if you're looking for good, um, really cute, yet inexpensive workout gear. Uh, definitely check out Walmart. All right, guys, I will pop the reel in here so you can watch it. And then we will come back and finish the day. Get ready with me for a bike ride in Avia available at Walmart. This sports bra is super supportive and I love that it has adjustable straps. And the design of these shorts are super cute with biker shorts underneath and pockets to store your things. They also come in white. We're going with these Avia sneakers, which are lightweight, breathable, and comfortable. And of course, topping off the look with gloves, a helmet, always wear your helmet, and sunglasses. Shop the look at Walmart. I have finished creating my reel and stories for uh, Walmart, their Avia sportswear line. The pieces are piecing and the pieces are cute. So I'll link them down below. I'm wearing a medium in the shorts as well as in the sports bras. And uh, the shoes are true to size. If you just need a very like, very good quality, um, but inexpensive pair of sneakers, get those Avia uh, running shoes. They are amazing, super lightweight. They're great if you need to travel with um, a pair of sneakers as well because they won't weigh down your luggage. Anywho, I'm back in a Skims house dress. This is the Fits Everybody um, tube dress, which is one of my favorites. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is work on putting all of those things together. I have all of the content for the real real to create my stories and all of the content for Walmart to create my story. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take a few hours and knock those out and go ahead and send them to the brand. So when I'm in New York, it's all about fun. I don't have to worry about doing too much work. Someone is texting me. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do that now. I'm also gonna make myself some lunch. I have some salmon and some broccoli that I need to <laughs> eat before I, I before it goes bad. So I'm gonna make baked salmon and I'm gonna bake the broccoli as well with a little bit of olive oil and garlic salt, which is my favorite way to eat broccoli and a little bit of um, red pepper flakes because I like them to be spicy. And we're gonna eat. I'll show a little bit of cooking because I know you guys like that, but as far as what we're doing today, that's gonna be it. I think I am gonna try and schedule myself for a nail appointment because my toes look crazy and I have a party to go to this weekend in New York. And so we can't have that. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can get in for maybe a three or four o'clock appointment this evening to get my nails done. All right, let's go cook some lunch and do some work.
guys just got finished eating it was delicious okay the salmon and the broccoli was so good um, I'm about to head to go get my nails done I just popped on this little hat from um, Lululemon I love it it's sweat proof because it's raining out um, and the same outfit from day one of the vlog the local European top and my Ray giant front pleat trouser pants and my Bottega bag Hopefully you guys can see I had to lighten it up a bit. Yeah, so that's the look for today. Let's go get these nails done. And then uh, while I'm getting my nails done, I'll do like my reels and put everything together and then send it off to the brands when I get back. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> right with the light so I went and got my nails done I went to the place I always go henna nail and spa on Collins um, on my nails I got passion it's a really beautiful like pinky clear color um, very natural I also brought my own <laughs> because um, I can touch it up on my own if need be I got this from CBS it's passion OPI it's a beautiful little pinky nude uh yeah and then on my toes come on why is the light here okay and then on my toes i always get white yeah i am loving these lulu lemon hats i have two i have this one and i have one in gray or is it can it's like a it's like a natural nudie color but i feel like i need more because they're just so good all right guys so i'm gonna chill my house now smells like broccoli so i have to air it out <laughs> i'm gonna pack my bags and i'll check in with you guys tomorrow when we're heading to new york we have a fun filled week in new york um i'll do a few days on this vlog and then i'll start another new york vlog but yeah it should be fun i'll check back in with you guys tomorrow when we're on our way back to harlem and if you're new here because a lot of you are um coming over from my youtube shorts i live both in miami and new york city miami is my primary residence new york city is my secondary residence and yeah i moved during the pandemic you got to go back and watch the vlogs uh, but yes i have an apartment in harlem new york city and i own a townhouse here in miami beach uh all right i will check back in with you guys tomorrow I am back in Harlem the flight was super quick it was like two hours and 15 minutes while on the flight I did a little bit of work created all of my fashion reels for the week so I'll be posting a new one every day this week and I'm just so happy to be home and I'm so happy I cleaned the last time I was here because it's impeccable but I still have to clean a little bit more because in a few days home decor homies um is coming to my apartment to film it for an episode on their youtube channel if you guys don't know my girl kelly kelly brown um she has a channel here on youtube and she does focus on interiors um of different people and yeah i'm really excited that she asked me to be on her show so i'm gonna have to get this place into tip-top shape and it is so dusty in here 
so all of tomorrow i'm going to be cleaning and so today is my day to shop because i am literally booked every day the rest of this week i'm going to be seeing friends going to dinners going to teas going to a few parties um so yeah it should be fun i'm gonna head down to fifth avenue i definitely want to pop into bergdorf's Saks, and ferragamo and maybe zara as well i have on my same look that literally i've been wearing almost every day which uh yeah yeah i i do wear my clothes um so we're gonna head down there oh let me show you guys what i got i got a gift and i was like oh, who is ringing my doorbell like who even knows that i'm here and i got a special gift you can see it here a bouquet of flowers from maria she sent these over to congratulate us really for hitting a hundred thousand subscribers here on youtube so let me show these flowers to you they're so pretty and i don't often get flowers in fact i can really count on maybe one maybe two hands how many times i've received flowers as a gift and it always just makes me emotional because i love flowers so thank you maria love you all right guys so i'm gonna take you guys with me i'm gonna try and film in the stores and not be so scared to film in the stores i'm probably gonna film on my phone so it can be a little less conspicuous um but yeah let's go do a little window shopping in new york city on fifth avenue
I would never, this is uh, the row. Look at the view from this fitting room. Nuts. Gonna try on this Izzy Miyake skirt. I usually go to their show every Paris Fashion Week. So if this fits, it's a go, it's on sale. I bought that skirt, so let's get into it. Okay, so I love it, but I got too much booty for it. Also, this is not um, Izzy Miyake, but I got it from that section. This is how it looks in the back. It's just doing the most. And I don't know if I can fix this, but it is beautiful. It looks so good from the front. Maybe I could just wear it with a baggy top so that this doesn't do this. I don't know, it needs a zipper. Okay guys, we're getting it. I had it on backwards, <laughs> look if I'm slow, but it's so stunning. This is gonna be beautiful for fashion month. So fun, <laughs> I'm thrilled. you saw me I was shopping it's been a, it's been two days since then yesterday I spent the whole day cleaning my entire apartment top to bottom because I'm going to be on an episode of home decor homies with my girl Kelly on her channel I'm gonna show you a little bit a few clips I'll try and post for you guys here um, but you'll check out the whole thing if you want to see my apartment and how I decorate and all of the ins and outs over on her channel which I will link down below um, and I'm late I'm wearing this free free people dress, my favorite JLo fragrance. I have to quickly go finish cleaning the bathroom <laughs> for when I made a mess with my makeup. But yeah, should be fun. Let's do it. Time. Look who we have here. When you come inside, especially if you're black, when you come in from outside, you gotta wash your hands. It's the first thing you do. It's true. Um, she's I'm a, here. She's a wonderful house guest. I can't believe this is your first time in my house you literally would be like i've been over. in her house quite a few Thousand times. times you'd be like come over and i'm like it's because i don't have an flight. elevator <laughs> and i already told y'all i don't tell people when i don't have an elevator yeah so they just have to come up but yes we're about to film home decor homies so make so sure excited. to go over to her channel i'll link it here and give it a watch because i know y'all are nosy and y'all want to know all about my apartment here yes and there's a whole playlist if you, it's like they're super nosy they can look at a lot of people's apartments and oh houses. i've looked at everybody's apartment yeah yeah it's good for inspo color ideas placement ideas i looked at when you did erica yeah oh my god i, I love, love them so, so much too erica and ebony yeah we love, love you, you. Yeah, no, 
I wait, it. I look cute. I like this. <laughs> you do. I dressed up for you because I knew you were gonna look all hot and whatever. And I was like, let me look a little. It's a vibe. Sexy. It's a moment. Where did you get all of these tattoos? LA. This is new. It is. Do you, want, do you want a tattoo tour? I do. Robots in love. This is so freaking cute. They like have little hearts in their eyes and stuff. This is zucchini flower because every time I sell on a menu, I order it. <laughs> I love how you just made yourself art. This is my parents. This is a Dan Murphy sculpture that I stole from my oh, parents' house. So cool. This is my mom's handwriting. It says lunch. <laughs> she had to one of her like lunch lists of like for her ideas for her packed lunch. This is a palm tree. This is Linda Goose from Picasso, oh, cool. which means the swimmer. You know, I'm a water baby. This is a little doodle I put on all my paintings. Anatomically correct heart, a rose, paper airplane. That's it. I want to make myself. Let's work. go get a tattoo. Girl. For real. Not today. But I would, <laughs> but I, but I would do it. I've been wanting Let's a dragon. Let's do week. I'm down. All right. Tattoo party coming soon. Okay, we have to film now. There's Diego. Yes. Hi. All right, guys. Angel. Wait, Bye. Okay, show them how long Diego's eyelashes are. Because this is a oh. thing we've been discussing. <laughs> oh my god. Are you so kidding? People pay for these eyelashes. So disrespectful. All right, let's get into it. And legend, fashion, guru. <laughs> A vlog section. I'm gonna be on her vlog. She's gonna be on my vlog. Yes. She's gonna be on Home Before Homies. And yeah, we've been peeking around. We went in the infamous office. Wait. All right, guys. So Kelly just left. My episode is very, very good. I talk a lot about living in New York. My favorite things in this apartment. Um, pieces I have we go in my closet and I talk all about that but this was really fun I've known Kelly for like 11 years and she is amazing she's actually the reason why I'm on YouTube because there was a time where I wanted to quit and she was doing so well on YouTube and I reached out to her and we had a heart to heart and she convinced me not to quit so Kelly is a is a real one and I love her channel if you love home decor and I know a lot of you do because when I put home decor in the title of my videos they do <laughs> very well definitely check out her channel I'll link it down below she has a series called home decor homies where she goes and does home tours of people all over the world she's based in LA but she's done people in LA New York Brooklyn like all the places and like amazing Oh, I made myself a little coffee. Yum. Um, I think I'm going to show you guys what I bought in my packing for fashion week video. I don't know if I said that already, but yeah. I'm wearing my Alexis Batar earrings. I do have a code. It's Monroe Steel for 20% off for the next two months. And I wrapped my plant smug. It's like midday, it's 12.30, and this is the first time I'm having my coffee for today, and it's so delicious. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to end off this weekly vlog. I think I vlogged four days. Um, I did a lot of shopping. <laughs> so if you enjoyed it, I have linked a few things down below that you have seen in this video. Um, we're gonna do another New York vlog because I'm gonna be here for quite a bit of time um, And I'm doing an event today. I'm doing a dinner with a girlfriend tomorrow um, I have a party to go to on Sunday So we will vlog all of that and that will be in the next vlog We'll do two New York vlogs for you guys, but I hope you enjoyed it if you did give your girl a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thanks so much for watching, guys.